Battle Cry of Freedom. That may be a game that some of you have probably heard of in the past if you've been around this community for a while, but it might be new to some of the more recent players. However, Battle Cry of Freedom is a game that was announced back in 2012. It was a US Civil War online only multiplayer going head to head with regiments fighting with muskets, cannons, cavalry, going in all out warfare to try and recreate those battles from the Civil War in the 1800s. However, after almost 10 years, there's been bits here and there, some updates coming out from Flying Squirrel Entertainment, who are the developers, and there's been some gameplay, there's been some regiments that have got into the alpha, and some people that have had the honour of sharing it on their YouTube channels. However, after all this time, finally, it is fully announced, and the page is on Steam. But in the run-up to this game's release, whenever it may be, I do have some concerns. So let's talk about Battle Cry of Freedom. Flying Squirrel Entertainment, the developers of Battle Cry of Freedom, actually have some pedigree in this genre. You can look at these games and think, hey, hold fast nations of war, prime and load, even war of rights to some extent. Take that thing that Mountain Blade Warband did with its line battles, regiments going head to head in the Napoleonic Wars and making it into a standalone game. However, Flying Squirrel Entertainment have the pedigree because they made Napoleonic Wars. They were the developers of the Napoleonic Wars DLC for Mountain Blade Warband. They came up with this style of gameplay and this almost sub-genre that we've seen come out of games like Mountain Blade. So it was only fitting that Battle Cry of Freedom would be a standalone version of the inspired North and South mod that we had in Warband's Napoleonic Wars. Now the initial announcement came out saying there will be 5 kilometers by 5 kilometers square maps, historically accurate weapons and of course fully destructible environments, cannons hitting walls and smashing them down to breach your way into forts, even up to 500 players in the same game. A massive jump up, almost double what we saw in the Napoleonic Wars DLC for Mountain Blade Warband. Band, and my was it hyped up massively. But it's been almost 10 years at this point. As I mentioned, there has been testing. People have been playing the game. Regiments that were in the Napoleonic Wars that were close to the developers have been testing it with their events. And we've seen some of these from General Cody to Chad Topio on YouTube. Go and check out their channels because they're where I've nicked most of this footage from. But you'd be able to become your favorite regiments from the US Civil War. Realistic projectile physics, array of player roles from infantry to engineers, surgeons, musicians, you could even play as fifers and drummers if that's what you wanted to do. Playing the historically accurate tunes from the time period and really immersing yourselves and living in those battles. It was so incredibly successful in Mountain Blade Warband with the Napoleonic Wars DLC that there's no possibility, right, that this could go any other way. Well, as it's been put onto the Steam page, now it can be wishlisted and the screenshots and videos and clips that have come up with it do look absolutely fantastic. This game looks beautiful. If you played a game like War of Rights, this is almost the third person version version of that, of multiplayer only battles organized between these regiments. However, this is very much more similar to what we experienced in Mountain Blade where War of Rights went down the more first person realism style. And yes, that game is absolutely beautiful and I will be making a video on it sometime soon. And all this sounds brilliant, right? All this sounds like Battle Cry of Freedom is finally coming our way and it might actually be a fantastic game. But I have my doubts. You see, a multiplayer only game like this already has red flags. It only is as good as its player base and whilst a game like Battle Cry of Freedom has shown in the testing that they have regiments that are willing to play it and I'm sure upon its release that has slated at the moment on the Steam page to be in 2022 it needs a player base that sticks with it they mentioned up to 500 players now I think they've kind of moved that down to a more realistic 300 players on a server which makes more sense for what they're trying to accomplish here especially with the size of team that they have but even then even so we've seen games like whole fast nations of war that did a similar thing and were massively successful, but that game came out years ago now. Yes, 2020 was its full release, but it had early access still. Battle Cry of Freedom still isn't coming out for another year or so, and by that point, are people going to be interested in these sorts of games? Prime and Load is another, well, pardon the pun, prime suspect for this sort of thing. You see, it's had that testing phase, and whilst it has been successful in events, people don't really play it casually. It's not a game that you can just hop on and get a good game with, because no one's really playing it in that way. You have these organized events, that people will go on that are organized between regiments and you can get these massive amazing battles but people that already aren't in that community 
can't join it. You see, the way in the Poland Wars how people would recruit to their events and their regiments is they go into public servers where people were just playing, shooting each other as you would in a Napoleonic Wars multiplayer game. They'd go on and they ask, do you want to join my regiment? People would say yes, and then they take part in those community events. Prime and Load doesn't have those public servers that people just hang about on. So the recruiting from there is not really possible. So the only recruiting is people that you know outside of the game and people that come across from other games like your Mountain Blade Napoleonic Wars regiment. Battlecry Freedom could go that same way. And that's what worries me. You see, these types of games are so niche at this point. We're filling a hole that doesn't really need to be filled. We're getting standalones of mods that were already a mod for a Napoleon It Was DLC for a small indie game. The levels to this make it niche and niche to the point where you're dwindling the player base so much, it's really hard to keep games like this alive. Don't get me wrong, I think Battlecry Freedom looks incredible and I will be playing it and I hope it does well, but it's really hard to make a game like this successful. It's really hard to keep bringing players in. From what I can tell, this could possibly be a game that has a dedicated loyal fan base but it doesn't grow at all because it's so apart it's so adverse and non-accessible to people that aren't in this historical hardcore regiment community that new players just won't join because they don't know how to and they won't get the same experience out of it unless they're in a regiment and that's what worries me about a game like battle cry of freedom however from the testing that we've seen there does seem to be a good amount of people playing at the moment and it looks like there is a lot of regiments that are taking part and putting on these events it depends how this works in and how it fits in with a game like war of rights which is doing something similar whilst it is on cry engine and it does have that graphical fidelity and it's realism on its side battle cry of freedom is kind of trying to slot in there in a strange place behind it but we'll see how they bounce off each other whether they work side by side or they can just do completely different things on their own but i think it is an interesting point because we've seen so many of these games these standalone games for mods of mountain blade some of them have done well like whole fast nations of war and some have done less well there's even more in the future that have been planned and been announced and i saw some kickstarters of some in the past that i was asked to make some videos on and i just thought what's the point this is filling in a niche that i don't think many players really want the niche you go the harder it is to get a solid and loyal fan base and for a multiplayer only game that's kind of what makes your game tick but please let me know what you think i'd love to know what your opinions are so please leave them down in the comments below and i'll be sure to check up on them have you played this game already with your regiment how is it forming up in terms of its actual gameplay mechanics and does it add anything over to what the north and south mod did for mountain blade warband so make sure you leave that down below and i'll be sure to check up on it but leave a like in the video if you enjoyed it leave a dislike if you didn't but go and check out my resonance deep dive channel if you haven't already where we do some more up-to-date content on the life of youtube and interviewing youtubers and of the such but until then i will see you in the next one